Last week, we talked about Rich nearly killing himself. Well, now we're going to talk about how we nearly did it. And we've got Chris Ackrig. That'll be me. All on the Dirt Shed Show. Yes, welcome to this week's Dirt Shed Show. We've got special guest Chris Ackrig uh, and the Don. How are you guys? Awesome. All right. Yeah, we've got some big news about Chris coming up. We're going to talk about more. But first, let's talk. Last week, we talked about on the Dirt Shed Show, Rich Payne nearly killing himself over training. Don't know if you saw this, Chris. I have when, yeah. when he was out in, uh, where was it? It was Arizona. somewhere in Arizona, yeah. Um, I was going to say Chile for some reason, but he was out in Arizona, nearly did himself in over training. We're experienced in this stuff. It was like, I was like, this sounds for like familiar stuff. But we've never done it through overtraining, no, have we? So I let's forgot. talk about some elite level crashing. And it came to my mind because have you guys seen Tom Morgan? Tom Morgan. I don't know why I'm funny. laughing. I don't know I'm laughing. It's just one of those things. You made us laugh. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's horrendous. This was a couple of years back. I remember seeing the GoPro of this crash over that famous jump, the yes. train gap up in British Columbia somewhere. And I, I, it's, this video is actually about having him getting PTSD. And I felt mm. like I got it watching that because I could imagine it. You can see him clip his pedal and then it's it's awful. Like, yeah. And he was really badly hurt. It's horrendous. Well, I mean, the injuries were extensive. Um, some of the bits where he's talking about bones being pushed up through bones just made me yeah. gag. It's so <laughs> gross. <laughs> right, and I, it just got me thinking, wow, um, knowing that you were coming down to chat, yeah. it got me thinking, well, I've got a collective of crashing pe crash people who crash their brains out, literally yeah. for a profession. Um, and what, what have we learned from it? What what do we remember of them? They stick, um, yours sticks with me, falling off that cliff. Like, well, let's talk that about that one hard. first. I mean, because that, that is a massive, that's one of the big Crashes. It's yeah. very similar to the Tom Walker crashes. It it was sort of career changing in negative and positive ways, but obviously physically it changed a lot. <laughs> Talk us through that day a little bit. Well, it was the, I think the scariest thing about that crash, actually, if nobody's seen it, the, the first time that I went to go try it, it was actually super windy and I was there on my own. Mm. And I set my tripod up to film it. Whoa. And went back to get my bike, and then my tripod was like, just about to fall off the cliff yeah. because the wind was so bad. And I was like, this is probably a bad idea today on my own, but oh I was nearly going to go for a bit. Anyway, yeah. back to the actual story. So the first time I tried it, it was like, basically it was a, a gap out. It's on, on YouTube. There's a gap out to a, a rock. And I was like, yeah, it's in the realms of possibility, you know, yeah. like on the on the edge of it, possibly. <laughs> the first couple of tries, like I was nowhere near it. And then I was like, oh, I just need to change my technique. And it's a gap jump onto another bit of rock, but after that was like... Yeah. Extensive, extensive drop. Well, they call it a cliff. They do call it a cliff, yeah, It's they big enough to be called a cliff. They call them cliffs. <laughs> so the first couple of times, like, yeah, it was just, it wasn't going anywhere. I was like, right, I'm going to change my technique. And, and as I did so, like, that next go, I landed and rolled a little bit in the grass, and my feet were dangling over the edge of the cliff, and I was just yeah. laughing to my film and going, that was close, like, oh, and at that my point... Goodness. I should yeah. have gone, Yeah, this isn't... let's go home for a cup of tea. But <laughs> I thought, no, being the professional, I'll stick with it and get it done, you know. Yeah. Um, and the next time I did it, I uh, off you went. went off the cliff. Oh, my God. And the drop, is, it, what I don't like about it is you, you drop into shadow. <clears throat> you kind yeah, of yeah. drop so far that you, the light changes. <laughs> and you drop into shadow and then you just hear you scream, ambulance! Yeah. And then and you, your leg's on the wrong way around. It was on the wrong way around, yeah. I mean... It was like, I think it's one of them things where I just had, for some reason, just had the presence of mind when I was going over, I was like backwards. And when I, just as, before I sort of left having anything to sort yeah. of like use mm. for a, to like push off, I managed to turn myself around last minute. Yeah. So I was going down forwards. If I'd have gone down backwards, I think it'd be, you know, probably a different story. It was like, I knew I'd done myself an injustice when I landed, <laughs> but you know, like, like you say, I landed in the shed. It was a beautiful yeah. day, and I landed in the bloody shed. <laughs> yeah, freezing, freezing cold, freezing cold. <laughs> but you, you really, you really hurt your leg bad. I mean, you've had a metal rod in your leg, yeah. and then that didn't heal properly, and it took you off your bike. You probably spent a year off your bike from that. Crash. Basically, what actually happened, I broke my femur into four pieces, and one of them pieces actually came out. Yeah. Even number, though. Even number. <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. So um, then I got a, a big nail still in yeah. there now. Um, Is it? Yeah, it's still in there, yeah. Can't yeah, hear yeah. it. No, it's, it's there. <laughs> yeah. Rodney. Rodney. Uh, Rodney, <laughs> like it. He's still there. Uh -huh. And then the fun, well, not the funny thing, actually, like a, a year pretty much to the day I was out in uh, Austria 
coming down the mm. mountain and had a real good day, like real thought, yeah, I'm back, you know, like giving it some beans. And I was like, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill now, but a really yeah. good day. As I did so, I looked around for somebody because somebody had some biscuits and I can't remember where it was. I looked around, caught my pedal, went over Animal Bars, one of the, uh, the stupidest, stupidest crashes you're ever gonna have, you know, yeah. proper like Sunday warrior crash, you know, a little, yeah. just a funny crash you'd normally laugh at. And I was like, I brought my leg again. <laughs> Oh my God. I got up and I couldn't put my foot on my pedal. I'm just like, I brought my leg again. Oh and my and God. somebody was like, T -t -t it was a, and what no. had actually happened, apparently it's quite common, is because your bones always got a little bit flex in it normally. Mm. Because it had a steel rod in, it couldn't, it couldn't it go couldn't in. Do that. Like, no. and it And it had, as it twisted round, it had broken yeah. off the same fracture site. Yeah. So, but, but it wasn't going to go anywhere because it was like a kebab. It was like, yeah. obviously just... In my mind, <laughs> when, those, when someone says they've got a rod in their bone, I've sort of got this idea of they've stuck bone around it and hoped it will <laughs> become... That'll, that'll do. It, literally, that a, literally, my surgeon said, um, when he was doing it, he said, I had your bones out, um, and he washed them under in the sink, and he said, because you were like a young chap and everything, we just thought, oh, do you know what? We'll, we'll put them back in and see if it'll knit together. He had oh, your bones wow. out? Yeah, he, he had the bits out, and he'd washed them out. Oh my and God. And then put them back in and was like, yeah. This is X-rated stuff on the Dirt Show this week. <laughs> um, I'm quite interested though, the PTSD oh. thing's really interesting, because you saying that you can, You've imagined what you see yeah. in the footage that what in Tom's crash. Yeah. You and and I guess the same thing when you look at yeah, Chris. It's, it's harrowing, isn't is it? Is that yeah, you yeah. it's what we're all it's in the back of everyone's mind when we're out riding. If, yeah. How bad could this go? And you've seen it. <laughs> and it, and then when you see it, it doesn't leave you, does it? Yeah, right. I, I mean you must have had some big main, I have, mainly like crashes that cost me a race or something, so they're the mm. ones I remember. I've had some big injuries as well. Mm. I've got an X-ray video of uh, a man's hand inside my leg in Chile that I sent to everyone when I was coming down on drugs. <laughs> Tell me what you were going <laughs> to say. And then I watched then. it back and I was like, oh my god, I shouldn't have sent that to anybody, that's horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> I have got that video, I've saved it. It's uh, one of my favourites. Uh. Um, do you do you think it has an effect? I mean, it does have an effect psychologically, doesn't it? But do you feel like it had an effect? Because you said you had a crash the other day, and you had to kind of go through that moment of like, right, I've got to get get back on the horse, kind of thing. Yeah, I think it's it's one of them minute age old things, and it? it's like yeah. you've you've. I think for me personally, like, if I've had a, I mean, it's it's a, it's a scale, and there's a sliding scale. I think mm. you know, there's there's crashes and there's crashes, you know. Mm. And I think if you're in somewhere in the sort yeah. of you know like the the funny walking away style just yeah. about you're gonna get back on and well i would anyway get back on it's and weird isn't it because you sort of remember crashes i think i only remember the crashes i've had where i have really hurt myself i've had tons and tons of crashes yeah really <laughs> <laughs> i've had the odd one here there's, and there. there's an and, elephant in this room I know yeah, that. yeah there is a, there, obviously there's one particular <laughs> crash i remember but before that i mean I hate to say it, it's not my only broken back. I've had them before that, you know, and you just remember the injuries. Uh, yeah. But then when you go back over the list of injuries, and obviously over a long period of time, it sounds crazy yeah. when you say them out. I mean, if, if we said all our injuries in a, yeah. in a row, it would be obscene. It would be absolutely insane. I think but, there's a funny thing as well that, about talking about them as well. Yeah. It's almost like talking about them is a little bit like, oh, we don't talk about them. Yeah. We don't talk about crashing. It's interesting. <laughs> um, I tell you what, it's a very interesting topic. And I tell you what I hear from you guys, okay, right? We should definitely, um, we should definitely make sure that you guys push push you guys to go and check out Tom's story over on 50 to 1 yeah. on YouTube. It's a brilliant story, mm. uh, very inspiring and slightly harrowing. I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to lie. Um, it, it is pretty hard to watch at times, um, but yeah, watch that one with caution. Um, and let us know in the comments down below about your big moments out on your bike. Maybe it wasn't a crash. Maybe you do remember a particularly cool crash where you just got up and went, they do happen, don't they? Yeah. Where you're just like, funny. How did I do that? <laughs> um, we're going to talk about a funny crash in a little while from Chris. Um, so let us know in the comments down below, you know, what, what are your stories with them big moments where you nearly died? Let us know in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, we'll talk a bit more to Chris after the news with Tom. What's up, everybody? Some speedy mountain bike news for you this week. Headlining is, of course, news that our Dirt Shed guest this week, Chris Ackrig, will be riding for White Bikes. Very cool signing for them, and we will link his first project with them going beyond in the description down below. Chris has kitted out his E160 with Industry 9, Renthal, Schwabi, as well as SRAM gearing and Fox suspension. 
The Atherton team have partnered with Galfa and Hayes for the upcoming season. They'll be using Galfa pads and those distinctive disc shark rotors paired with the Hayes Dominion for maximum stopping power when they need to drop the anchors from those high speeds on offer at World Cup downhill courses all around the world. There was another urban downhill race from Red Bull, this time on the streets of Medellin, Colombia. Exposed hillsides, lots of boardwalks, tight turns and rattling downstairs for this round. Lucas Borba third, Sebastian Holguin second, and Juan Velez taking the win on home soil. Seen here practicing in an open-faced helmet. The absolute nutter. Last but by no means least, Propane have launched a range of kids' bikes for young shredders to get into the sport. The Bam Bam Balux bike that was technically launched last year is joined by the Barney, a 16-inch single speed, and there are also the Drex Bats and the Frechdax 20-inch bikes, topping off the range with the Yuma, the 24-inch full sus. Nice range there from Propane. There are some shots floating around the web of what is presumably the new S-Works Epic being raced by some of the specialized team members, including Hayley Batten. Like Finnars' DH bike from last year, the workings are hidden under a shroud for now. I actually found a full picture put up by an Italian bike shop, which has since been removed. I screenshotted it, it's on my phone, but I'm not sure I'd make any friends that specialized by showing it to you for now. So you'll have to do your own sleuthing online for that one. All right, that's all I've got time for this week. Let's catch up with Toff for something sick out of Canada. Right, this week's sickest thing is this new video from Caleb Halonka and SRAM called In The Know. It's everything you'd want out of a North Shore video. I mean, obviously, the dude grew up on Mount Froome to like all the old school North Shore extreme videos. It's gonna be. He pays respect to like old school features, but he also builds a bunch himself. I mean, that ladder drop is absolutely massive. You might recognize it from a previous Paul Genovese video. He threes on a downhill bike, over rotates slightly, it's just so free ride, isn't it? And the dude flips it. Like, it's all sketchy as f His foot slips off, but he doesn't die and just rides out like a complete boss. And the bang is absolutely insane. Like, no run up, just like pumps over that knuckle, pulls up with like a bike length window, death grip, like how much sicker does that make it? And then just crank flips and just launches so deep into that roller. So yeah, that was my sickest thing this week. Time to go back to the shed. Oh, for f we almost slipped over. Thank you, Tom. If you come in that door, I swear to God, I'll murder you. <laughs> you stay there. Right, um, I'll tell you what I wanted to talk about just before we were talking about crashes. What do we learn from our crashes? Don't break your ankle, it's bad. That's a good one. Or teeth as well, They're actually. never the same, are they? Ankles or teeth. Yeah. Once you've done them, I smacked all my teeth out here once and they've, well, they've never been there since. <laughs> uh, Chris, anything you've learned from crashes? Any, any words of wisdom? If you have one, what can I learn from it? I actually wrote this on my handlebars after my crash when I first got back on my bike and it went, don't fall off cliffs. Great advice, great <laughs> advice. Um, now we've got a moment to talk about. You've got something other than crashes happening amazing in your life. Big you news. You have got a brand new sponsor. I have indeed. White. White bikes. White bikes. It's a lovely looking bike, man. It is. for the video Absolutely. as well. Yeah. yeah. It's going well. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, really yeah. good. Really pleased with it. We just wanted to like, you know, maybe new people coming through that haven't seen some of the stuff to do. It's yeah. like a little bit of a yeah. taste of what I get up to in the woods. Mm. Yeah. And obviously some other stuff actually that people haven't seen before, like my other interests as well. But yeah. yeah. I love hearing you talk about it actually. It's very interesting. It's very interesting because you're quite a complex character. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> You can be. Um, <laughs> we go way back. Uh, I tell you what I really like as well is your funny little crash. Talking about crashes. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see that again. Yeah, no. uh, and again. Love it. I love that crash. <laughs> I think everyone wants to know, did you make it? Um, no, because I think I actually I explained it in the video. Sometimes it's like sometimes you just know when to walk away. And this is what comes with age. Uh, yes. Really? He's learning! No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can go, you can go back though. Try Absolutely. Again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking, it just felt like it was one of them where I was trying to get the video finished yeah. and I had a little bit of an incident. My bike tried to eat my hand, like got it trapped between my yeah. brake and it was just like, do you know what? Today we're just going to leave this, get the video finished and I'll come back. Let me look at it again. <laughs> You do that, not on an e-bike, that's a heavy bike to do up there. Um, on a normal bike, you'd do that, your eyes closed. Um, I don't know, actually. Uh, do you know what? This could be maybe the start of uh, maybe, a, maybe a new YouTube video that I might do, oh, you know? Oh, yeah. Because right, you know, obviously, like, an e-bike's... Yeah. ...like for some stuff, you know, but obviously, like, trying to jump up that with yeah. 50-plus uh, pound bike. Unfinished Business by Chris Attlee. <laughs> yeah. Love it, yeah, love nice. it. Um, but it's great to see you on White. That yeah. video's banging. Make sure you check that over on Chris's channel. Um, it's great. It is on your channel, isn't it? It's on White. It's on White. It's on White. It's on White, 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 White Bikes YouTube. channel. Yeah. Come back!
There he is, back from Chris's channel. Go to White's channel. <laughs> um, great. Uh, Neil, did I hear there's a spring sale on in the GMBN shop? There is, you wouldn't believe it. Yeah, spring sale, 40% off these t-shirts and 50% off some mountain bike kit and jerseys as well. So head over, get yourself some new kit. Do not miss out on that. Fantastic. Spring sale. Is it spring already? Snow feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> It's not spring down here. Hacks and bodges time. Let's give away a stunt mug to someone clever. Uh, first one, I'm a bit confused, lads. Help me out with this. It's from Kirk, and he's saying he is upgraded to through axle from a quick release. But to me, am I wrong? It looks like he's downgraded to quick release. It's hard to tell. They're definitely those things he's sliding in are for QRs to go through the middle of. Yeah. Kirk, you're going to have to help us out with it because the machining looks good, but I feel like you've machined down to a quick release. I can't Opposite. quite work it out. Maybe you've just said it around the wrong way, or I'm getting my wires crossed, but the machining's good, so you're in the running. It's got a lathe. That's yeah. King of the lathe. We king like of our hacks, of surely. Um, back to a bodge. This is a simple little idea, using uh, little electrical tongs, are they? Uh, like clamp things. Electrical yeah. clamps. It's like a good way of smashing your knuckles when it <laughs> slips off. <and> you're <laughs> <laughs> you might come back and take three fingers off. Yeah. It um, this is Lewis's idea. Chris, you were asking what's the difference between a hack or a bodge. Kirk was a hack, this yeah, is a bodge. That's definitely right, a bodge. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, clear? Yeah, we're good <laughs> uh, now, yeah. But, but, Lewis, you're in the running. Well, um, this one isn't clear, because it looks like a bodge, because he's got a load of scrap wood on his bike rack, which is Riley in the US, trying to make it easier to put his bike on the rack, take less time, but... <laughs> What, is that a hack or a bodge? Come on. That looks more like a liability to me. <laughs> what are you saying, Chris? Hack or a bodge? You've got to pick a winner, by the way. Um, have I? Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. That looks, I don't. What's what's the what's the end game there? It's just a quicker way of hanging your bike on your car. So there's there's. Sorry, you can't see the car. There's oh, the there car. There's like, you know. I like He's that. painted up. I like that. So, it's so that's, that's like Riley. It, it's you going with Riley? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. Riley, nice. Unbelievably, has stole it at the end there. <laughs> so Riley is the winner. Stunt mug on his way to you. Ooh, <laughs> smooth. <laughs> well, congratulations. If you would like to be in hacks and bodges, then please get involved with the GMB uploader. The link is down below. Uh, send us what you're making in your workshop, what you're doing to make your bike better, how you're fixing it. Get involved. You can win yourself a prize. You could be on the show next week, and we love to hear from you. Caption contest time. Um, last week's photo, um, do you know this guy, Chris? Do you know this guy? I've seen him about. Seen him about. I think I saw him in Bath High Street. Yeah. Yeah. Just with a, bump into with a him, crack yeah. pipe in his ass. No, <laughs> this is Steve Jones um, looking crazy in the uh, in the office. Yeah, crazy, yeah. Uh, he was trying. I think, do you know what I think he's doing there? He's trying on my hat. I don't look like that in that hat, do I? Those aren't these glasses, are they? I don't know. Are it's a crazy look. It's a crazy look. <laughs> no. I don't know what teeth. <laughs> right, this uh, first caption we've got is from Jeff Blovelt. He says, Steve thinks, Steve thinks he can make Martin remember to announce each week's caption contest photo via telepathy. Impossible. He does look a bit like that, doesn't he? Steve Sapella says, Steve keeping his eye on that stunt mug trajectory. Actually, he should do. I know a story about Steve getting his nose broken by someone throwing a boot at him. So it's a bit out of order. You were there. Alex Rankin. Oh my <laughs> god. Um, and lastly, Stuart Dickens, he says Popeye goes mountain biking. He does look quite Popeye like. <laughs> Who are we going to give it to? Another stunt mug on its way. I like Steve Sapello one, it's funny. Um, right, I'm going to try a stunt now, lads. I'm going to throw this. No, I'm not. It's on its way <laughs> to Steve, on its way. Good luck. Here's your caption photo for this week. Love it. You could be winning yourself a stunt mug next week. Give it a try with a caption for that in the comment section down below. It's a great way to get involved with the show. Um, right, next up, we have got some things we like this week. Um, one thing I absolutely do love is seeing Chris Smith out on high bikes. Yes. All the Chris is He's making done. the changes this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Chris, obviously, EMBM <clears throat> presenter, but has moved on to Pastures New, um, out on his high bike. Fantastic to see him, of course, at Windhill. It's almost his, Windhill, isn't it? it? Is, he yeah. almost owns it. What is the quarry that was his? <laughs> he owns yeah. a few places. He's very wealthy, that guy. Um, yeah, but great to see you out there, Chris. Um, riding well and looking very cool. Um, what, what are you liking? Uh, well, Neil? I'm not sure I'm liking it, but this is unbelievable. This, this is on Husky Moto Parts Instagram. Moto Freestyle, uh, obviously, <laughs> must have come up, <laughs> wheel spun on the, on the run in, come up short and just bounced. I back. love how there's this delay. Watch this delay. Where is he? Boink. There he is. I reckon he got, he got away with that. He did. It sort of looks fun, though, doesn't it? 
It's kind of, kind of. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, yeah. he's probably really hurt it himself. Could it could have got... sort of fun there. It looks fun apart from the bit where he lands on the... <laughs> Me and that Blake ground. were in uh, Spain last week and the, uh, Fen the Fenisos are the guys there have got a moto freestyle on his 450, yeah. rolling in, second gear, just like putting on, and then just, like, wide open, 450. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Um, talking about amazing, look at Jordan Williams making this. Yeah. Ooh, this hang time here is that incredible. Is, sending. Isn't it? is he racing elite this year, World Cups, Jordan Williams? Uh, uh, I think he might be. I think he, is. I think he might be. Oh, I'm looking forward to racing style. <laughs> Ah, yes, that is a very, very cool jump. And I just like that because it's just plain cool, isn't it? Just, just plain looks, cool. It's stylish, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't yeah. it? Love it. Um, yeah, definitely <laughs> check out Jordan Williams' Instagram for more of the same. Uh, right, should we have a look at the bike vault? North Yorkshire. <laughs> North Yorkshire. This is not this is not a viewer, this is your bike, Chris. It is, sorry. It must have slipped in there somehow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we've got to give it a super nice. <laughs> You're enjoying it though, aren't you? Oh, aye. <laughs> You're enjoying it. Super nice for Chris's whites. Next. Lovely. This Next is up to real viewers. Uh, <laughs> Lee's raggly big wig steel frame hardtail. It's a good looking bike, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Slack Stealth. 29er. Stealth Chris, like yeah. that one. Yeah. Blacked out. You riding a hardtail? Murdered. They call it murdered, do they now? They do. Do they? Yeah, they oh. blacked out. Oh, we see nice. you riding a hardtail, Chris. I do have a hardtail. Yeah, nice. I've got a hardtail, and I think, yeah, it's like I've got. Full quiver. Yeah. Oh, I bet you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> what are you giving? That's a nice. That's a nice. Next up, another hardtail. It's, what is it? I a, like this guy's plom, name. Well, his name's Belter, but the bike is called Aplom Wolf Runner V2. Ooh. In, where's that? La Berta. I don't know where that is. Uh, I like the Geo. Geo looks good. Versus, it's got loads of brands I've not heard of. Versus tires. I feel like you could do that some damage, Chris. <laughs> looks a bit up your street. Maybe a bit smaller. It looks a bit long, doesn't it? It's like it's got the really old, oh, actually, I actually don't think they are. You know, the, do you remember the old Shimano downhill clip pedals? Yes. It looks like it's not it got a dropper as well, which is quite unusual nowadays, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It it's is. It's all fixed up. Like. Belter, we're going to give you a super nice. Wow. Next up, Check this out. This is the first one, first time for the bike vault. An Atherton in the wild. Ooh. AM 200, Daniel bike. Uh, this is Ben's bike. Back home after a day at Dubby Bike Park. So That's not bad, is it? Spanky bike. Nice. Super nice. Super nice. Um, next up. Oh. <laughs> uh, Specialised Rocco with 93. How did we ever like mountain biking? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Look at him. Um, this is John's 1993 Specialized Rock Copper. Yeah, uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan. That was my first pro bike. Was it? Yeah, I was, really? I was uh, oh, a little yeah, stint yeah. on Specialized right at the start, no, yeah. No. Um, I think that's super nice. You were on a Rock Copper? I was on a Rock Copper. I think it was Good a Rock name Hopper, for it, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a Rock Copper. Yeah, red, red one, one Rock Copper. Yeah. Nice. I can't remember. Yeah, I remember it. Long front time ago. Front cover MBUK. Oh, that was Aussie. Was it? it Aussie was always the easy mistake. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, <laughs> easy mistake. One Martin is very much like another. Oh, looks uh, <laughs> super nice for the rock hopper though. Next up, we've got. Ooh, how do you say it, Chris? How do you say I, I can't it? See it without your glasses it, it, it's on. a. It, is it a geometron or a geometron? Geometron. Geometron. Matt must have a pretty good say on this. Geometron. 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 Like I said, geometron. Um, <laughs> it is from Philly, 1993. Utah. Weirdly. Don't see many of them yeah. out there. That's gone far. Um, well, that's got to be a super nice story, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, he says it finished his dream build halfway through nice. a six month winter. Love it. Another one of them. Another Athen, but this time an AM150. This is Urs, uh, his bike in Basel. That's little, isn't it? That's pretty trialsy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I could do some that's, that's trial skills on that. that. Uh, what do we prefer on the Atherton bikes? Do we like the black full stealth or the polished titanium 3D printed parts? I quite parts? like that one. We see the the tie. Think, Chris. Yeah, yeah I, like, I like that. Yeah, he's, he's drawing attention to like the features, aren't we? Yeah, it's like very that. very yeah. cool looking bike. Atherton yeah. bikes do. Holy great. moly! Uh, super nice that one. This one, I've, I've gone on a step. This is Kamal's <laughs> TRS Pumori. Oh, that makes me feel slightly ill. <laughs> it's um, unusual. The tyres look like s massive pieces of flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? The tyres look like massive arms. It's the, the stem spaces that are <laughs> getting me. The bad um, tyres. It's not nice. It's nice. It's <laughs> oh, nice. That means it's oh, super nice. nice. It's a super nice. I've got to say it's super nice. <laughs> um, super nicely bad. Next up, we have got an orange from uh, Orange Evo from look, Rory. That is brand Yeah, it does. It does. Uh, nice. Nice. Oh, see, we're out of the bike vault on a dull note then. Oh, shame. 
I feel like I should have said super nice, but it was a nice. Sorry, Roy. <laughs> um, yeah, great bike vaults. Again, if you've got a bike, of course you have. Send it in. We love looking at them. Um, even when you're a pro rider and you're getting all the coverage anyway. <laughs> that's me. Oh, some people can't get enough. Um, right, let's take a look at some things that's coming up on GMBN this week. Now, Chris, can I tempt you with some videos this week that we'd like to draw your attention to on GMBN? You certainly can. Right, let's it. try. Well, we've got uh, Blake's Welsh Bike Park Tour with uh, Ray, it's his bro. Right. His yeah. bro. He went to uh, Bike Park Wales, Dovey, and the Black Mountains. Great looking video uh, and a great couple. Oh, aren't they? Aren't they? <laughs> That's not, they're not all aged. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also, really interesting, Rich's doing like a bit of a dream build. He's trying to build the lightest cross country bike he can uh, with some crazy components on there. Super yeah. cool. I'm only frightened to know what he's going to try and do with it once yeah. he's built it, <laughs> how he's going to try and kill himself next. <laughs> um, great videos coming up on GMBN, of course, um, also over on GMBN Tech. So make sure you check out the channels. Um, but that's it for us this week. Make sure you tell us your crash stories and what have you learned from them. Um, Chris, thank you for coming in. Lovely to see you. Uh, Neil, thanks once again. We'll see you next week on the Dirt Shed Show. Until then, it's goodbye from us.